All right, so we had a little talk about hunting areas, and uh, I mentioned in there staying away and staying out of your spot is one of the things I think is the best best thing you can do to keep a spot good. Once you know they're in there, and once you know you know it's a hot crossing or a bed close to a bedding area, once you know they're in there, the best thing you can do is stay away. Uh, got me thinking about trail cameras a little bit. Let your trail cameras do your homework, and by homework I mean everything from telling you what your deer are doing to letting you know who else may be slipping by. This is the time of year whenever I pull my cameras off of uh, my mineral sites or whatever it might be that I, I'm getting my pictures on doing my homework and I start putting them on all my entrances or towards my stands or pe places I think people may be slipping in. You know, I had a buddy of mine, you know, had two or three guys I had watching the road. They drive the road for a living and they're out there a lot. Uh, a couple of them told me that there was a certain rig that I knew of that was supposed to be a buddy of mine that was easing in and out of there quite often. And come to find out, you know, I'm pretty certain he was slipping in the backside of my place. He'd found some sign and wanted to hunt it, and he just took it upon himself to help himself. Uh, you know, that ain't right. I wouldn't do that to anybody. You know, I don't. Ex I don't expect anybody to uh, to have any sympathy for it at all. Trust me, I know how it is, but. I'm just saying, that ain't the way to be. Karma does come back around in the woods. Uh, you may think it's overkill to move your cameras around and make sure that you don't have anybody slipping in, but it ain't overkill. You're not the one doing it. They forced your hand to do it. Uh, you try to trust people and you just can't. You know, for a lot of time, long time, I wouldn't say anything, I'd let it go and I figured you can't kill another man's deer. But when they go in and booger up a spot that you've been saving, you know, it'll aggravate you so uh, as long as you do what you want to do in the woods and it's not affecting me i don't really care what you do but whenever it goes to affecting my hunting then i've got to say so in it uh, i've put a lot of time and effort and hours more hours than, than a lot of people i'm out there all summer long where everybody else is playing on the river and uh, whenever it comes fall i like to reap the benefits you know it's only fair so don't feel bad or don't feel like you should uh, keep your mouth shut either. You know, for a long time I was afraid of aggravating people till I found out people will take advantage of you as much as they can and as much as they can get away with and as much as you'll get them. Nothing wrong at all without helping, with helping somebody out that needs it. But whenever they come to expect it, uh, and, you know, maybe it's time to cut the cord. So use your cameras for what they're made for, taking pictures, you know. Put them up, have them watch your spot while you're gone. Talk to your neighbor. I've got a neighbor that rides through on a horse quite often at one of my spots. He keeps a pretty good eye on it for me. It's a deal we got. He can ride through. He, he's he's my inside source. So, I've got another guy that's on the off day schedule of mine, lives close by, and he keeps an eye on the road. He keeps an eye on the, the entrance. Uh, yeah, I, just, I, you know, I know everything's going on out there. You have to do as much homework on your uh, on your property to keep it yours or your hunting spot to keep it yours as you do is to keep your deer. So, now for those of you saying, well, not all of us hunt private ground, well, I don't all hunt private ground. You know, I've killed one of my best bucks with a bow off of public ground. I hunt actually quite a bit of public ground. People don't know that because I don't talk about it. That's another key. Uh, if you're running out there and, uh, you know, telling everybody where you're hunting at, even if you're vaguely telling them, you know, there's people that'll figure it out and you can mess around and kill a decent deer in there and they think they know where it's at. I can promise you somebody's going to be up that way. So have some respect out there in the woods. Treat others like you'd like to be treated. Don't always get mad that somebody might have killed one and, uh, you know, use your cameras. Uh, that's what they're for. Don't be afraid to. So. There's two sides to every story. Remember that. All right, folks. Later.